Pipe up. Uh, hey, sauce him up like mellow, y'all. Bought me some heat for my waist. You can tell by my bitch and my taste. Got a nigga glue for my wrist. I dropped a zan in the mist. Cardi, your friends on my face. Alright, what's going on, everybody? So, uh, we back with another video, bro. Uh, look, we got another video, dude. Um, I'm giving you all this video because it's actually a helpful tip. Um, people don't realize, like, I don't know if people realized it. Well, I haven't came across anybody that realized it. But Playmaker uh, Grand Badge is honestly one of the easiest and most overpowered badges, Grand Badges you can get, to be honest. You can all go ahead, get your Lockdown Defender and stuff. And that's going to take, I know getting most of the badges to Hall of Fame will take some time, but I just know about Playmaker. I just got my Grand Badge the last game I played. And look. I went crazy to be honest all you got to do is get i'll say okay i've got a claim that um i asked my boy famous k i got a claim that you know he uh got his grand badge before the 21st game i got it on the 21st game i had my other friend y'all may know him as faded two times and what type of fucking cutscene but look no i had gave I had, the dude told me that he got his grand badge last, uh, his 21st game as well. So I got my grand badge on the 21st game. And it's kind of strange because it seems to happen that on the 21st game, you get your thing. You get your grand badge. But claims are that you could get earlier and whatnot. So I believe that between 15 and the 21st game is when, uh, I'll say 15 or 25. Between 15 and 25 of your games, you will, uh, just get 16 assists, man. It don't even matter what type of assist there are. Flashy pass assist, alley -oop assist. It don't matter. Just get straight 16 assists on your... I say look out for this 21st game because that's when I got it. But I'm going to say this. 15 through 25, expect yourself getting the Playmaker Grand Badge. And this is... I'm going to explain to you guys why this is the most easiest badge to get. 16 assists? That's all you have to do, my nigga. That's all you have to do. Put your stuff on rookie. Put your uh, difficulty on rookie. You're most likely going to have your teammates scoring a lot of the things. You feel me, man? When you put it on rookie, your teammates are going to make a lot more. That's what it feels like. I never played on Hall of Fame, but, hey, if your players make it on Hall of Fame as well, keep it on Hall of Fame. Whatever suits you best, you know, you feel me? Make sure you keep that difficulty where you prefer it to be at. But look, man, I put my stuff on rookie. It seemed like they just scoring everything. So that's how I get my assists. I do flashy passes. I do the pick and rolls. I'm also getting myself uh, pick and roll Hall of Fame. As you know, as you know, as time goes by, as while I'm doing this stuff to get my grand badge, so that's how I got my grand badge out on the 21st game, dude. 16 assists, just any type of assist you want, man. You don't gotta get however many assists without any turnovers and whatnot. Just 16 straight assists, man. So feel me. Uh, look, that's all you gotta do. And this is an overpowered badge because what you could do with the playmaker badge is break ankles. You feel me, man? You, that's all you have to do, man. And, you know, you got all these other grand badges, lockdown defender badge, bro. If you, if you get that grand badge, you know, you know, you could just steal and just automatically block people and whatnot. But look, playmaker, think about when you on offense, my nigga. Think about when you on offense when you got this grand badge. You could break somebody's ankles more easily, easily. And, you know, just dish out an assist if you got yourself Dimer, Gold, or Hall of Fame. Hey, this is an overpowered badge, man. That is how you score, my nigga. And scoring wins you games. And defense wins you games as well. But, man, scoring takes a huge effect when you, you know, dish out an assist after you broke somebody's ankle. And they behind the three-point line and bang that. Hey, that's, that's a three-point, my nigga. That's a three-point. That's the most points you can score. So, look, Playmaker Grand Badge is honestly easy to get. Again, 21st game, I got it with 16 assists. I know for sure it's 16 assists you got to get. But I don't know which game you can get it on. I got it on my 21st. It's pretty common to get it on the 21st. But I'm going to give you guys this, you know, this little note. 15, 15, 15, 15 through 25. 15 through 25 games, man. That's all you got to get it on. And you'll get your Playmaker Badge sooner than later, man. Sooner than later. So it's a, honestly a nice badge. I've already experienced uh, one of my my career games with it. I haven't gone to the park with it yet. Try to get some park gameplay for y'all. So let's make sure we go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, it'll really help me out. And uh, make sure you hit that like button if y'all want some more tips about playmakers or any other type of archetype that's out there. If y'all want to know some things, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. That's what the comment section is for, my nigga. Just keep asking questions, man. Keep the questions coming along. Uh, keep the likes coming along and keep subscribing, man. Because when we try to get when we try to get to a thousand subs, you feel me? If y'all seen that, you know my last video, I'm giving away these easies, my nigga. These easies, y'all could look fresh out here with these easies. So make sure you go ahead. Uh, drop a like, you know, subscribe, man. That's it, man. It's Dev. I'm out.